I'm here at Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia. Today I'm going to do a review of three SpectraVision games for the Atari 2600. I'm going to do Gangster Alley, we got Planet Patrol, and my favorite out of the three, Tapeworm. We've got it all ready to go, and we're going to do a little review on all three. The first two I'm going to do are kind of mediocre, the last one, Tapeworm, I really like. You pretty much move your cursor with the joystick, which moves nice and fast, and you want to shoot the bad guys with the frowny looking faces, and avoid shooting the smiley faces, which are the innocents of the And you got to do it within a time frame. And that's the hardest one up there. Throws at you. you get through the level, you get bonus points, gets harder and harder. Probably the best alternative to not having a light gun. The newer TVs don't work great with the light guns, of course. Uh, but the older classic games work better. So I'm gonna now play Planet Patrol. This is kind of like a scaled back version of Defender. It's kind of an anti Defender in a way, but I'll kind of explain that now. Okay, and use your joystick. Uh, drones, which are the ships, they go in just straight lines, but this is really a mediocre, fun alternative to a Defender. Uh, the Atari 5200 Defender would be your main choice. You've got to rescue this uh, pilot here, and then you got to take out uh, the enemy bases that are here. And there's an explosion. You gotta avoid this debris from the explosion. And then you gotta go here and line your ship just right up so you can refuel. And then you're gonna head on to the next level, which is gonna be more difficult, more challenging, faster ships. You can like hold in your fire button for automatic fire, that's really nice. When it becomes dark at night, your fire will illuminate the screen so you can see, which is really nice. Uh, mediocre shooter. And the last game I'm going to do is Tapeworm. This is basically uh, surround, but more involved, more fun. And right there is the title screen. It's telling you all the characters, the nemesis is that you gotta avoid. All right, so we're gonna start now. You're that square representing. You gotta try not to eat your tail. The more you eat, the more you grow. You gotta collect these before that spider collects that apple down there. Or there'll be more that you have to get. The stuff that's gonna appear on the screen is the stuff that'll kill you. Like that spider there. This works great with your Atari 2600 joystick. Very basic and super fun. Has those characteristics of like Candy Crush, Tetris. Very simplistic gameplay, but simplistic. And this was really simplistic graphics even in the day. But this is a much better version of Surround. If you run into the walls or anything, you gotta start all over again. try to avoid that. Now if the spider gets to the end of the screen before you eat the squares, you're going to have to end up getting more of them. I just lost another life. Alright, so let's see if we can do a little better this time. bottom it tells you how many you got more you got to collect as you can see it says four okay, I got one more until I have to get the magic apple let's see where that's going to appear right, it's going to appear down here let's see if I can get it before this spider gets the apple down there it's going to be close I did so you get bonus points and you go on to the next level, which is more involved. 
Super fun game. Highly recommended. Tapeworm for the Atari 2600. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. This is Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia. Thank you.